Got this dug out the excavator. Last two days. Had a little rain earlier. We got uh, about uh, 0.3 inches or so. So I got most of the topsoil saved right here. And I got the clay hauled off. We made a uh, mound up closer to the front of the property. Right here, what we're doing is, see that uh, greenhouse frame right there? It's going to go in this section right here. I need to clean it up the edges a little better. Get some big roots in there. Uh, but I'm going to be putting a liner pond underneath the greenhouse. And you're going to have tropical freshwater fish in there. And also going to do, um, we've got hydroponic pipes. So we're going to combine the uh, aquaponics with the hydroponics for aquaculture. And then on this trench right here, we're putting the perforated pipes at uh, different depths here. And that is going to be for the heating and cooling of the greenhouse. Uh, plus I also have a uh, air conditioned unit uh, if I wanted to use that. But I'm gonna use the air conditioned fan then if we really needed the extra boost, we could use the uh, air conditioned heater, but I think this is gonna work really good. Um, got, so that's about six foot deep at the bottom. I wanna build up the sides about a foot. Uh, so I have a little bit of extra dirt. I need to kind of throw some extra clay. Um, the kids were playing in here and some of the stuff fell in, um, but it's coming together. Got a much bigger trench on the other side for the, uh, this is the big greenhouse, it's 35 by 96 uh, for the uh, geothermal over there. So I'm gonna be doing that first before I get to this. This will probably sit as a hole for a couple months um before i'm able to actually get it so it, it may may silt in some it, it's probably going to be a mess we're in late october right now so there's no more grass growing i uh, i did make it, it on the other trench i just dug it straight out and put it in dump trailer right here i had dug th some of this side out and put it in a pile and it just seemed like that wasn't the way to go it, it's kind of hard to get once you put it dig it out the ground and then put it in another pile it's hard to really get a full scoop with the excavator it just kind of it grabs a little bit and then it pushes all the rest of it to the side but i could clean that up the tractor right now it's kind of wet so i'm gonna do some other things today i uh, messed up the fence a little bit uh, for the dogs so I'm gonna be repairing that I accidentally hit it with the uh, excavator that I had to uh, pull this we had a water line running right here through the middle and so I had to cut it I was able to pull it up with the excavator without damaging it but I had to add an extension to it so we can route it down lower and around the side uh, but that's going to the birdhouse and then our second line in the greenhouse we got another line a little bit further but this is also a line goes way out to the emus um, so we got that back going pretty exciting it's going to be really cool uh, what we're going to have see there's two doors on each side and what I want to do is put a bridge across so for I uh, run out of time on the excavator or put some posts in right here where we're separating the geothermal and the pond and I'm going to be putting um, sheet metal and maybe some plywood in between and then this is going to be filled back in with rocks so I'm going to do this section first then once we get um, then maybe I'm going to uh, brace the sides as well once we put the liner in and the water in, it's going to hold the form of it. 
but hopefully I can get to it in time for it all caves in uh, I've got some pumps and stuff so it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a while before it's looking pretty but I have vision and I do think it's gonna turn out sweet be able to swim in there with uh, with some really cool fish in there fresh water I haven't really picked out the species I want to go with but super exciting <laughs>